I think theater was for me first as a performer, a space where I could be many things. And that really spoke to me as the daughter of a Lebanese mother from a mixed Muslim and Christian family in Beirut uh, and an American diplomat father whose job meant that I grew up in Kuwait and Oman and Iraq, Canada, the U.S., moving every two to four years. I, for my thesis in college, I wrote a solo performance about the experience of living and moving between multiple countries and languages and cultures, and Courage Under Fire became part of that first play, uh, which I called Eyesight, which is like a play on the sight of myself, I-S-I-T-E, uh, but also a way of seeing this very intellectual title, but it served me well. <laughs> um, and that play took me all over the country and all over the world. I was very, very blessed. I learned a lot by traveling to places I would never have visited otherwise, a uh, church basement in Indiana, a university in North Dakota, an international school in Beijing. Um, and this was before social media and more accessible international alternate sort of sources of news. Yeah. But even when we have access to those, I, I realized that stories can reach through and beyond political ideologies and, and divisions and different experiences and invite us to really feel our connections and also challenge our biases and the assumptions that we often make about each other. Um, and that really is what drew me to pursue theater as a career, because through performing that show, I realized that thanks to the many wonderful people who would come up to me after it, that it was moving them in a way that was unique to theater, that was unique to storytelling, really, and that I could use the tools of storytelling and performance um, because we were live in space in real time together. Uh, to connect people to other people in places, particularly in the Arab world, that they might not connect to otherwise, certainly not in the same way. Um, and I also realized that people listened differently when you tell them a story, you know, whether they're based in your own experiences or fictionalized to explore a kind of deeper truth. Stories allow us to connect in a heart-centered way, uh, to see ourselves in each other, and in the process sometimes to shift even just a little bit, the way we might see each other and the world. One of the biggest highlights of my career um, has, was the chance to work with the UN uh, to help craft a story of a Syrian refugee, Hanan, a Syrian refugee in, in Beirut, um, based on the work of a Syrian photojournalist, Kedal al Farah. And I got to tell that story for uh, World Humanitarian Day at the UN in New York. And then I was invited to tell it um, at the Global Consultation for Humanitarian Aid in Geneva at the UN headquarters there. And I got to lead a workshop um, at that uh, conference in Geneva for aid workers using the tools of theater uh, to engage with cross-cultural challenges in humanitarian aid contexts. Um, and that was one of the most meaningful things I got to do with the tools that I have for my work. I also got to present the story at the World Humanitarian Summit in Istanbul. Um, and that felt, you know, the, the chance to literally speak to, uh, I forget the number of UN member delegates, uh, both in New York and in Geneva, and use that story to remind them why they're there, you know, why they do this work.